Caitlin, have you heard about the person who wants to compost our dead bodies? Ew. No, I don't agree with corpse disposal innovation of any kind. Ew, 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 get away from me. Okay, not true, obviously. That person is Katrina Spade, and we are friends because the alternative death community is very tiny. So allow me to introduce you to the architect to the stars. And by the stars, I mean your city's corpses. <laughs> You can't compost dead bodies, not for my mom. That's Soylent Green, it's horrific. That's not really a question, but what started off as a thesis project for a master's in architecture is now a fully funded fellowship called the Urban Death Project, a system for composting human remains in urban settings. Now, just because she's funded doesn't mean she's not a quack. Sorry, Katrina. But it does mean that there are people who believe this is part of our death future. Composting, by definition, is taking organic material and recycling it back into the soil, combining carbon-rich material and nitrogen-rich material. When I think of composting, I think of banana peels and apple cores. But you know what else is organic material? Animals. In fact, they've been composting livestock for years, everything from pigs to chickens to 2,000 pound steers. And guess what else is a big ol' sack of organic material? The human body. Here's how they think composting a human body would work. It's not very complicated. The body is put into a mix of sawdust, wood chips, and beneficial microbes. After about 14 days, you get something close to what you'd find about six inches down on the forest floor. And I was like, Katrina, I'm not a damn truffle hunter. I don't know what that means. And she was like, you know, you know, deep, rich soil. After another 14 days, that is screened and cured, and you have something that's ready to grow new life. Also, folding your dead back into the city. City parks could come and collect the compost. If that idea makes you wildly uncomfortable, well, that makes sense. We have no idea what that kind of comfort with death would look like. We like to pretend our bodies aren't organic material and chemically preserve them and seal them up in caskets and vaults. Now to the blowback, the inevitable hashtag complaints. Isn't this Soylent Green? It's people! There are no actual bodies at the end of the process, just nutrients. Bones are composted as well, so there's nothing that resembles an actual human. Finding out that composted remains aren't actually people is good and bad, because the next hashtag complaint is there aren't actual remains at the end of the process? As we've talked about before, people in the West aren't as fond of the collective death experience. We want to be buried alone. We want to be cremated alone. We want just grandma's remains back. But the organic material just isn't trackable like that. I don't want decomposing bodies in my neighborhood. That smell! This one is easier to soothe. With livestock composting, they've found that the wood chips and sawdust act as biofilter, sucking up and filtering out the odor. In this design, there will be mechanical aeration and additional biofiltering as well. Katrina is prototyping now, with opportunities to try out the technology in the near future. How it will fly with our current draconian death laws, I'm not sure. Katrina has agreed to answer some of our questions in the comments, so ask away, but don't embarrass me, guys, okay? for composting, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? Ask a Mortician is brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you.